Hey, good morning and welcome back to Monday Morning Devotions with me, Conan Hirsch, uh, from Victory Lutheran Church, Jamestown, North Dakota. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I know we had a great weekend here at Victory Lutheran Church, uh, celebrating the baptism of uh, one of our uh, one of our families that was uh, baptizing their uh, infant child. So that was awesome to be part of that, um, get to see and witness that, and uh, also just to, just to have another day to worship our Lord and Savior, especially during the season of Lent that we're in. So just an awesome opportunity there. Um, hope you all had a an awesome weekend hope you guys are having a beautiful monday as we uh, as we launch off here i know uh you know looking at the weather forecast here in jamestown north dakota we have some days that are going to be up in the 50s and man it's giving me a uh, it's just making me pine even more for spring here so i think uh i think i'll probably have a few emns there um but yeah if you're if you're hopping on with me this morning go ahead hit the like button hit the share button uh, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know where you're watching from and uh, just say good morning. Just go ahead and say good morning to those that are in our community um, and just hop in, get that cup of coffee and let's settle in as we dive into week six of our devotion that deals with the question of am I loved, which is a question, you know, I've said before that I, uh, I myself have even found myself asking from time to time and I know many other people are struggling with that question, but today as we dive into week six, we get to uh, dive into just knowing that Jesus loves even me. So our author picks up today um, in today's devotion, which is titled Jesus Loves Even Me, part one. You'll have to tune in again next week for part two. Um, and our author starts here. The day began just as any other with 10-year-old Philip working barefoot in the garden until he heard a noise off in the distance unlike anything he'd ever heard before. He dropped his basket of vegetables and hopped over the fence almost as though the music was pulling him along. Forgetting to even knock, he let himself into a large manor house and there sat a woman playing the piano with her back to him and he listened in silence until she finished. And he exclaimed, oh, please don't stop. And that's the most beautiful sound that I've ever heard. And it startled this lady and she promptly scolded him and commanded him to leave and never come back. Well, shortly after the young man left home to work in a lumber camp, but began training vocally and went to become the famous singer composer, Philip Bliss. And one day, he was in Chicago at one of D.L. Moody's services. And during the congregational singing, Moody picked Philip's extraordinary voice out of the crowd and met with him after the service. Philip did not let that one experience as a child define his life. You see, he pursued music and a knowledge of God. And he later became a traveling evangelist, evangelist a traveling evangelist using his voice for the Lord. Time after time, he heard congregations sing, Oh, how I love Jesus. And it got him thinking, Have I not been singing enough about my poor love for Jesus? And shall I not rather sing of his great love for me? I'll read that again. Have I not been singing enough about my poor love for Jesus? And shall I not rather sing of his great love for me? From that thought, he penned the lyrics of Jesus loves even me. I'm so glad that our father in heaven tells of his love in the book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the dearest, that Jesus loves me. So I encourage you, before, uh, before you start your day, maybe if you want to end your day with this, but just take a moment, maybe find this song. Revisit this beautiful hymn. And just be reminded of God's timeless love for you. 
with whatever you're facing and trust his wonderful love because we have so much to be glad about. And then even another song that I think of that kind of describes this is the song, How He Loves Us. To me, for me, that song really puts into perspective God's unending and unrelenting love for us. <clears throat> so funny, reading this, uh, reading this devotion takes me back to a time when I was in high school and I didn't have a relationship with the Lord yet. And I was at this winter retreat. Um, gosh, I don't even remember what year it was. And uh, I remember being there. Uh, one of my Young Life leaders invited me to it. And I, uh, I was just in a really dark place. I was turning to drugs and alcohol to mask a lot of pain in my life at the time. And um, I remember being at this retreat and having a similar experience that uh, Philip Bliss had where he, when he was a kid, he heard this music and he was drawn to it. And I remember my first experience at this retreat was uh, with the uh, with the worship music that was being played and I uh, I still remember to this day the song was how um, How great is our God And uh, the band that was playing it was a band called theories of Gabriella and um, Who the lead singer of would later years later become um, a very good friend of mine and uh, not only a friend, but a mentor, somebody that brought me in under his wing to, uh, you know, develop and train me as a worship leader at a at a church that we served at together. And um, I remember being like, I think I was like 15 or 16 years old, and I was at this retreat and just totally in, in, enamored with the music that was being played. And it was like the first time I. I felt like I had a glimpse of something good, and it, you know, in that in that time frame, I believe I was a sophomore. So from there, it was like two more years of being in the dark before uh, before that little seed that might have been planted in that moment came to to sprout, which uh, ultimately led to me being here where I am today. And uh, I'll never forget that. I'll never forget the that moment of just that feeling of like, what is this? This is amazing of how great our God is. Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> when we think, when I think about that question of, am I loved? Cause I know when I was, when I was there at that retreat, I, I struggled really hard with that question of feeling loved. I was going through a lot as a as a kid in high school, dealing with things that I, I feel like most kids should never have to deal with. And yet, even then, looking back on it, knowing that God was there loving me through every moment of that, whether or not I wanted to realize it, We have a good, good father, you guys. I don't know what you might be struggling with today. I know we're all struggling with something, whether it's just the, the loss of a, of a loved one, getting unexpected news, maybe finding out that a, a friend or a loved one was diagnosed with something like cancer. And uh, you're, you're just wondering like, how could a God that loves me allow things like this to happen there's times where I still wonder that myself but you know what I can always come back to I can always come back to the truth that I find in the word that God loves me God loves me so much that he sent his one and only son to die for us to give us a chance to be in relationship with him. He did it for us because he loves us. Hmm. 
So that's what I hope you you picked up today. Reading out of 1 John chapter 4 verse 16. Let me pull it up here. First John four sixteen. If my computer will ever load it. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. First John four sixteen, which reads, So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. God is love. And whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. If you're wondering if you were loved, I encourage you to turn to 1 John 4, 16 to read these words. So we've come to know and believe that the love, the love that God has for us, realizing that God is love and that whoever abides in love abides in God and God abides in him. I pray that for you today. Abide in love. Because I mean God's love and God is abiding in you. <sighs> well, that's going to conclude our devotion for today. That was part one of uh, part two. So you'll have to come back next Monday uh, to hear um, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves even me part two. You'll hear the part two on this. So be sure to come back next Monday. Um, but I'm going to close our time now. Um, I'm going to close it in prayer. And I, I just want to encourage you, if there's something you need prayer for, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. Let us know how we can be praying for you as a community. And um, if you if you want, you can even send us a message to our Facebook page. You can send us an email to the church. You can call us. Let us know how we can pray for you today. Um, with that, though, I'm going to pray. And then we'll end our time here. And we'll just continue on next week. So let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for this truth, for this hope that we have, that you've given us through your son, God. Thank you so much that we, uh, we can be reminded of your amazing, unending, unrelenting love, God, through song, um, like Phil Bliss even said, like through, through, through song, God. And um, God, just I just thank you for your amazing, unrelenting love. God, and I pray for my brothers and sisters right now that might be dealing with uh, some heavy hardships right now, God. I just pray that you would be bringing peace and comfort to them. God, we love you. We're so thankful for this time that we can come together and then dive into your word and to be reminded of these truths. God, when we can question so many times on whether or not you that you love us God and that we are valued enough to be loved God and you remind us over and over and over again through your word that we are loved and that you love us God but because of what you did for us not, not by anything that we can do but what you've already done for us. So we love you. In Jesus' name. Amen. So glad to have you with me this morning on this uh, beautiful Monday morning. And I, I pray it's a beautiful day where you are at too. And um, like I said, if you've been blessed by this, I just encourage you to hit the like button, hit the share button. And uh, let's, uh, let's grow our community, help spread the good news that God loves even me. 
God loves even you. Because he did it for all of us. And he didn't do it just for a few of us, but he did it for every single person in this world. And this is one small way we can, we can help tell the world of the incredible love that we've found in Jesus Christ. Thank you for joining me today on this beautiful Monday. Pray that you have a wonderful week. Be sure to tune in tomorrow, 9 o'clock, 9.30. Uh, Pastor Sean's going to be going live with his daily devotion. Um, be sure also to tune in at 7 a.m. Starting at 7 a.m., our, uh, our Return to the Lord daily Lenten devotions drop at 7 a.m. So be sure to put that on your watch list. You can uh, go to our Facebook page, and we have all the premieres. Um, right there so if you want to be get a little reminder of when those videos drop you can go ahead and and uh, click on the little remind button in the uh, in the premiere video section on our Facebook page so be sure to do that and then uh, also if you uh, if you aren't gonna join us any of those days we we have a lot of stuff going on this week you guys and uh, Sunday mornings especially two services 8 15. 1045 with Sunday school in between and if you can't join us in person here at uh, at Victory Lutheran Church in Jamestown North Dakota you can always hop online for the 1045 service which we have live streamed every Sunday um, unless for some reason there's some technical difficulties which we've been praying against and thanking God that we haven't had too many of those so um, praying uh, that we can continue to have good luck there but we always love having our, our online folk with us so if you can't be with us in person, we encourage you to hop online Sunday mornings, 1045, and we look forward to seeing you Sunday. And uh, if I don't see you then, I look forward to seeing you next Monday uh, for Monday Morning Devotions with me, Conan Hirsch. Once again, from Victory Lutheran Church, Jamestown, North Dakota, be blessed as uh, you go forward through this week. God bless you all.